think I expected this, but I actually kind of love it. Well, hello there. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Kyra Sean. Today's video is brought to you by OMG Her Hair. They sent me another unit to review for you guys. It is also Sip and Slay, and your girl got an empty cup today because I ran out of my wine. I was drinking. <laughs> I was drinking way too much earlier and I forgot that I had to film this. <laughs> so Ken Ken on your way home, bring me the wine. Now before we get into this glueless install, okay, because she is, yeah, glueless, that, that's lace right there, right there. We get into the looks today, okay? So before we get into all that, make sure if you're new to the channel, you go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. So like I said, this unit comes to us from OMG Her Hair. All the specs of my unit are right here on the screen, so if you wanna check it out, you can. I am gonna go ahead and tip my lace just a little bit because I feel like it may be a little ashy on me, but I don't wanna do too much. I'm already a little worried about these little um, curly cues because I feel like they're a little bit too short and peasy for this texture of wig. But we are gonna see, it does come with an elastic band, but I don't think I'm gonna use that right now. I'm more than likely will just put on my wig grip just because I don't feel like taking it off the pack. I'm just, I'm just being lazy. I can already tell it's big on my head. Do y'all see what I'm talking about with the edges? Like they're very, they're very broken off. I feel like they're a little bit too short. So OMG her hair, if you wanna make this a little bit longer to flow into this, cause there shouldn't be like a gap. This gap right here is throwing me off. If I did baby hairs or swoops, that will be perfect. But y'all know I don't do that, okay? So I wanna push these back into the wig. I already got a thin hairline. Don't give me breakage too, child. I'm gonna put on my wig grip for now. And then, ooh, my back is wet. Was the hair wet? Sheesh, should fit a little better, and it does. Now it says this hair is 18 inches. This is a pretty long 18 inch. Thank you, OMG Her Hair, for giving us what you're supposed to give us. I probably should take my glasses off so I can get a better fit, but I need to be able to see too, so which, which one do I want? <laughs> So looking pretty good. All right, all right. I did co-wash the wig with the wig shampoo that I just got and I only had a little bit of bleeding from the hair. So I'm gonna use my Nairobi around the hairline. Two pumps. I may end up putting gel on this hairline so I don't want to tease it up. I know we can do so much better than this. So we gonna, we gonna try to get her together. Just gonna wrap it down and then we're gonna get to the curls. I'm gonna keep it real simple. I'm not gonna use my curl glaze. I'm gonna use the rest of my Nairobi mousse. Hopefully I have enough. We'll see. I'm not getting a bunch of snags, so that's good. That's the difference in that quality of hair. I spoke too soon. I got a knot right here, a random little knot. You can tell the difference between the hair quality, the texture, and actually the color. Like this color looks a lot richer even after I washed it than maybe a fast fashion wig. Is this enough? <laughs> I don't think it is, but we're gonna try to stretch it. I could have sworn I had another bottle of this. Somewhere there is a bottle. <laughs> this may be good enough for one side. I be using my products, y'all. I be running through this mousse, child. Ooh, go under, need some mousse back here. I definitely need to finger coil these ends. Clumpity, clump, clump, clumpity, clump, clump. I'm getting some shedding as I'm clumping the curls. As long as I'm not getting track folds of hair, I'm, I'm okay with a little bit of shedding. It's a curly wig, so I kinda expect it, you know what I'm saying? There's no layers in this wig, so I may have to try to fluff her. See if we can stretch this mousse, y'all. Let me be careful, I can't afford to lose not a drop. I think we're gonna make it. <laughs> Go under, uh-oh, that's dry under there, that is dry. The hair isn't super saturated because I did blow dry it a little bit just to get rid of some of that excess water. Make sure my roots are clumped. Now I'm gonna pin it up, diffuse it, and then we'll come back and fluff it and see how she's looking. So hair is pretty much dry. This is all the hair to the front, I think. Yes, take the wrap off. So not bad looking, but I need to fix it because again, it's too much, 
it doesn't flow correctly because it's too short. Over the lace. And then I'm gonna use my edge control. This part right here is definitely up to your personal style and how you want the front of your hairline to look. So I just basically push mine back and then push some down. Push it back, bring some down. I don't think I'll need to tip my lace anymore. I feel like it's blending pretty good, I think. Hold up. I'm using a little bit of my foundation on top of the lace. Bring it to the front. This hair can definitely get a lot bigger. I'm using my blow dryer on cool to fluff it up a little bit more. All right, using my pick, fluff it up. Ooh, we big in here. <laughs> I don't think I expected this, but I actually kind of love it. All right, y'all, so that is it for this look. How are we looking? I think we looking really good. I add a little headband for a little razzle dazzle, just because I felt like it was a little too much going on right here. I wanted to break it up a little bit and it's cute. Okay, it is cute. I don't know if I like these hoops with this headband. My pearls will probably look really cute for this as well. Let me see. Okay, how we looking? How are we looking? I think we looking real good, y'all. This came together perfectly. Now, this little situation, OMG her hair. For me, the hairline is the only thing that I would change for this wig. Make them longer or change up the texture of it. I don't know. This texture and this is not really... It looks good now, but out the pack it looks a little, mm -mm. I don't want to be 4C natural right here and then have an S curl over here. Like, what's going on? <laughs> Why are we struggling like this? We don't, no, I got a wig on. I don't want to struggle like that, okay? I would suggest changing that up to make the edges match this, and this wig will get a 10 out of 10 for moi. But outside of that, the wig is gorgeous. I love the color. Y'all know I love me a good auburn, reddish brown, whatever you want to call it. It was real popular towards the end of last year, and I feel like it's going to start picking back up again because this is gorgeous. It's not kinky curly, but the way the hair is frizzing up is giving the look of kinky curly. So if you like this color, but you don't want the maintenance of a kinky curly version, you can definitely check out this one because this one gives you a lighter curl texture with the same look. But that is all I got for you guys today. Shout out one more time to OMG Her Hair for sending me this unit. I really appreciate it. I will put the direct link, my specs, and any coupon codes I have for this unit down below. So if you guys want to check it out, you can. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.